man has been fighting me all night. And it, it's taking other bits of my equipment with it. It dropped my pedal partway under my thing. So I owe you people a little bit of Methodist coloring book, in case you wonder what happened at the end there. Or it might have been the fact that I was out last night. Here's an idea. Take a Saturday night, run back and forth on a stage for about an hour and a half, and then go out dancing for three hours. That's what I did. And now I'm paying the price. Went, went to Bar Sinister, Club Bar Sinister last night. So. I always wanted to go, Android Lust, who are one of my favorite bands, played their first show. Give it up, because Shaquille from Android Lust, one of the best friends in the world. Wow, here's something I thought I'd never said. Give it up for Fart Bar. There's a band called, they got three members and they're called Fart Bar. Two of the members had to say, yes, Fart Bar. Let's see that. I really, I really enjoyed the hell out of them. They were really good. But, um, went out to Bar Sinister last night and my friends, because I'm like the gothy one in the crowd, my friends are my friends are all like, oh no, it's going to drag us to another club where you got to wear black clothes, and everybody's got to hate their parents. And my friends were in there for like two minutes, okay? And they were like, holy shit, this is great. This is fucking wonderful. And there's a lesson in that. Don't stay home. If somebody says I'm going somewhere, go with them, all right? The odds are pretty good. You're going to have a good time, and if you don't have a good time, you can turn it into a bad time for everyone. It's just normally what I do. My friend Kelly, this is a great fucking story. My friend Kelly was there last night, and there was like a guy, like a 20-year-old guy hitting on her, and Kelly's giving me these signals, like, get rid of him, get, come over here, get, get rid of him. And I'm sitting there like, no fucking way. I'm going to watch, I'm going to love every second of this. I'm like, Kelly. And I can tell we had a good time last night because one of my friends texted me this morning and the text said, and I have it, I can show it to you at some point, it says, Rodney, why are there handprints on my ass? And that, that is the way you should really judge a good evening out, you know? How was it? Well, it was okay. We were able to find a parking space and dinner was really good. And they brought out a birthday cake and the whole staff sang. But when I got home, there were no handprints on my ass. Life is too short, people, not to wake up without handprints on your ass. Life is too fucking short not to go out and have a good time. Fucking short not to drag your friends to a BDSM club and then watch one of your friends get hit on by a 20 year old guy. This shit is great, man. This shit is why we are on the planet. Go out tonight. Have a fucking awesome time. Right? When you wake up tomorrow, I hope you wake up with some handprints on your ass. Okay? Because life is too fucking. So short, I don't even, I used to hitchhike, now I've got a car. That's awesome. Saves a lot of time. I thought you'd be pleased. What? What did you say I missed that? What? What did you say? I what? said I thought you'd be pleased. I am pleased. Tell me, Rodney, what kind of car do you now have? I've got a bitchin' car. Yeah.